Yo, what's good? August is around the corner. You know what that means? Another issue for Seven Hughes Magazine. Yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Will Mydell back again with the Creative Core. Uh, today, I will be showing you guys how to do an editorial layout for a magazine inside of InDesign, not Photoshop. Um, all right, so first of all, I'm going to tell you guys that I'm probably going to break this down into four different videos. Uh, the first video is probably going to be uh, just showing you guys how to add the image. All right, um, basic, basic, how to add images in InDesign, um, and especially in this area, what we're going to be doing today, which is for uh, a magazine. My magazine is uh, fashion based, so uh, I have different divisions. One is strictly for fashion, one is for um, people of color, uh, which is called Seven Hues Noir. Uh, you'll see more African Americans in that uh, issue, uh, Hispanic descent, uh, Indian descent, uh, a more cultural base. Then I have a magazine uh, for men, Seven Hues Homes. Excuse me, Whew, coffee. Uh, the next magazine is Seven Hues Beauty, which is focused strictly on beauty, uh, makeup, um, close up shots, detail shots. Uh, the next magazine is Seven Hues Hair. Yeah, Seven Hues Hair. Self explanatory, right? I think I've covered all my magazines. Let me see Hair, Noir, Mood, Homes, Beauty. Yeah. I have a couple of more divisions also I haven't released, but um, it's good. So let's get cracking. All right, so starting off in design, let's get it uh, started. Adding images, all right? So what I usually do is um, once I get all my images in for my uh, contributors, I have people email me images from all around the world. I mean, Australia, Russia, Italy, um, Africa, Sao Paulo, Brazil, um, everywhere. When I first started the magazine, I intentionally marketed it to other countries. I didn't market it towards people in the United States, which the fashion capitals would probably be like LA and New York and Miami probably. But because, I mean, a lot of people in this country are biased, you know, and they're gonna look at your Instagram and your Facebook and they're like, oh, he doesn't have any numbers. I'm not gonna follow him. I'm not gonna submit to him. So I was like, cool. I'm gonna send my work to people who are non-biased, which are usually outside of the country and uh, build my fan base from there. And it took off. Now I have a lot of people from New York and LA and Miami sending me stuff. So I had to do things backwards. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, the magazine has a lot of creative content inside of it from a lot of creative people from around the world and you guys should go check it out so once i get all the images in from all of my co uh, contributors from all around the world um i put them in different folders you know i have one for mold uh ohms beauty hair and uh i separate all the images to see okay i'm working on this issue right here today and this is all the images going in this issue all like i'm working on beauty today I'm gonna focus on all the layouts for the beauty. And I do that to knock out each issue to make uh, uh, some type of consistency in my workflow that make my life much easier. So um, I need to change my wallpaper too because I'm tired of seeing these guys. I've seen these guys for like two months. So what I will do is open up InDesign. Let's get started. First, open up InDesign. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a file from july our july issue basically and i basically what i'll do i just copy the file and duplicate it and put it in the next month issue and then i'll just erase the photos and and put the the next month's photos in there and uh depending on the layout depending on the content i put in it if i'm going to be covering a uh, fashion week or um some boutiques um they have some new uh, wardrobe or accessories in. I'll, I might keep the layout, but if not, it is what it is. So what I'm gonna do is zoom out, and I think I'm just gonna start at the bottom. How about that? What's the last editorial? We have this chick here, where wild roses are from Veronica. 
this is what I love also, man. Trying to pronounce these these individuals' names, and they're from around the world. And I, I think this is Russian. Irina Kuznets. I really have to get Rosetta Stone. But all right. So this is what we're gonna do. Today we're gonna work. I'm gonna show you guys how to add the images. All right. So Richard Shu sent me Gucci Revolution. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci. <laughs> oh, okay. These kids and their music. I'm pretty sure adults was like saying the same thing when I was my age. Listening to Master P and UGK and 8 Ball and 3 Six Mafia. All right, so let's delete these. This editorial was how many pages? One, two, three, four, five, six, 12 pages. So we click over here to pages. As you can see, this editorial started on page 80 and went down to 91. So, I mean, there's multiple ways you can delete it. You can actually grab these like this. And you can, what I'm doing is I'm clicking on one and I'm holding down shift and clicking on the second one. And you can just drag it to the trash can and click OK and it'll disappear. Or you can just go to that, uh, that page and just hold down the mouse and highlight everything. And as you can see, the, the bounding boxes with the squares are picking up. And you just hit delete. It's like that. Alright. And I think I have another tutorial up showing you guys how to add these um, footers and headers up, up here at the top. I'll add a link somewhere down here at the bottom. Uh, this is a different tutorial. I'll show you guys how to do that. I think I already did one though. And um, I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. So let's go ahead and delete these. Alright. Delete, 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 delete. And I'm gonna keep this one. This one image. You know what? No, I'm gonna delete that also. So I'm gonna show you guys from scratch. And I'm going to move, I'm gonna highlight all these titles and credits. Well, I'm gonna highlight the title and credits and I'm gonna just hold down shift and drag that to the side. All right, because I'm gonna show you guys how to do titles uh, probably in the third video. And then in the fourth video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add credits. All right, second video, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, decide the image you wanna use for the cover uh, of the editorial. And if you know what I mean when I say cover, I mean this image right here, the highlight image that's gonna, um, the feature image for whoever that photographer or model or stylist that sent that in, their feature, how to decide what image goes right there to set the tone for the editorial. Cause I, I mean, it's, you, see, you see a lot of magazines, not the high tier magazines, um, cause they know what they're doing and they have someone in their office that's working, but there are some magazines that are coming out now and you, and you can just scroll through there and you're like, why did they pick that image? You know, the, the image you pick to set the tone for the editorial says a lot. And it's, it's really gonna open up um, it's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna open up that whole editorial you know it sets the tone so uh i will spend like minutes i don't care about 20 i don't say i don't say 30 but probably somewhere between like 20 minutes deciding on what image i want to use same thing with the cover um if if i don't have someone for my cover already set and someone sent me some fresh work and i'm like when i look when i open my email i'm like that's the cover that's the cover um you, you, you need to sit down and decide, you know, what's going to blow people's mind when you post it online. Okay. To be like, wow. You know, I, I get that from everyone. Everyone always messages me about, you know what? You pick the best covers, you know, and that says a lot, you know. Well, because of my background in, in, in graphic design and digital design and photography, it's kind of easier for me to have an eye for that. Some people are out there to start magazines you know, like it's a trend and don't have no background in any, no type of art or photography at all. And they're just picking photos and they're like, submit to us, submit to us if you want to get published, submit to us if you want to get published. And they just stick anybody out there. 
and they wonder why they, they get the same grade quality work which is like kind of low to mid grade you know I can have someone with 200 followers you know a model out of you know some small country in Eastern Europe and put her on my cover and by my layout style I can make make her look like she's already made you know like she's been in this business for years so adding the image let's go ahead and wrap this up let's click on this little box here if you highlight over it says rectangle box or you could just hit F uh, learn your shortcuts people learn your shortcuts okay so another thing also pull up the folder all right of the images that you're gonna be working on and look at the layouts you know you got a portrait 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 you got landscape 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 portrait portrait now I'm not gonna decide what goes up front first what, what I usually like to do is just get the images added and decide that later all right I kind of have in mind what I want to have for the cover but we'll do that in the next video so first rectangle box all right or hit F what you want to do is go to the corner and you can see this little arrow popping up too I'm gonna move back and move forward move back move forward it kind of helps you indicate you know uh, that you're at the corner and click there and drag down till you get down to this part right here and you can see these little help guidelines also if you don't see them you need to go up here to your view and go to extras I think um, our grids and guides and click on lock column grids and snap to guides and smart guides and it kind of helps you all right another thing that helps once you do that you can click on this arrow and go up here and just and fill it with a color let me just click on blue all right so let me see what I got here I got uh, one two three four I got five portraits so quick fast easy way of doing this I can click on this box and hold out alt and shift and just drag this down to the next page do the same here you change colors if you want to also to kind of help you out this is optional you don't have to put a, a color there once you get good you you won't need no colors I'm just showing you guys this to help you get started all right I lost count one two three four five so we got five portraits and three landscapes all right so let's drag one more and what we're going to do since we got three landscapes we're going to click on this grab this little box right here and drag it out there's one landscape and we got boom there's two and we got three all right, so we got three landscapes and we have one, two, three, four, five. I, I know I keep forgetting, all right? So we got one, drag that over, two. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five in the title going here. It should be like right here. Or if I choose a landscape, Cause you never know. I mean, a landscape might be my portrait. I mean, I mean, uh, my my cover feature. So I don't know that yet. So this this box right here might be at the bottom. I don't know. Like I said, we're just gonna be adding images right now. All right. So let's go ahead and not add, add these images right quick. So what we're gonna do is click on the first box and hit Control D. If you want to hit Control D, you just go up to Edit and um, I've been hitting control D so long, I actually don't know where to go. Is it place? There you go. It's under file. All right. So control D and it's going to pull up um, your, let's get back up, issue 32. All right. And you start adding your images. Now, you click inside here to uh, okay so this one's because you, you you will have sometimes you have images that aren't set 
to this, I have mine set to um, I think eight by five by eleven. So you, you need to know that also. Who's gonna be printing your magazine? You know, it could be MadCloud.com or Blurb.com or uh, Issue.com. So you need to find out who's gonna be printing my work. Who's gonna be printing my magazine? Staples, you know, and then find out what their dimensions are so before you even get started you need to find that out before you just start laying stuff out because you're going to be doing double work and that's a headache you know you're going to lay all this stuff out you're going to email them the file and they're like oh sir we can't print this you need to fix your you know your 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 bleed section or your dimensions you know and they can like man i gotta go back and do all this over again so i already have mine set up because i have the same people printing my stuff all right why I said that is because you have people that will send you images that aren't set to this size. You know, it might be a longer portrait because everyone shoots with a different lens. You might have somebody shooting with a wider angle lens, lens or they're shooting portrait. And once they get in Lightroom or Photoshop, they're cropping it. And then they're sending you cropped images and they don't match up. So, I, I mean, I get images all the time. But once you click on this, you know, it's hanging all the way down here at the bottom or you have images you know left off over here and that's when the deciding factor is how am I gonna you know squeeze this into this to this page not only that what's the best look you know you gotta think about the rule of thirds from a photographer perspective you know do you want this person all the way on the left like like this chick right here I'm not sure why this guy sent this image I mean it's a good shot but she's like all the way far left you know, like maybe if I wanted to like crop this in and then bring her into the middle like that, you guys can see that snap line in the middle, which is that purple line. You know, I kind of like that. But what I don't like is how her elbow is cut off. So it's like, you gotta work with it. You just gotta deal with it. I mean, you're not on set. You're not, help, you're not helping him pick the images. You're not helping him style the shoot. So that's the image you get and that's the image you gotta work with. Or you could do something like click on here and drag the image down to the corner, which kind of puts her in the middle. You said that now that shot looks a little better, kind of you know helps the rule of third. You know, like maybe drag that up and then bring this down. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bring this in a little more. You know, it's not cutting off the dress that much. I mean, let me see what what I'm cutting off that tiger at the bottom. So you gotta think about it also. You know, from a stylist perspective, you know, a stylist might be pissed like, well, I really want them to see this little, it's like a little tiger with a snake for a tail. What is that? It's like a bandicoot. Oh, marsupial with a snake or a lizard tail. Ah, fashion. Weird stuff. Yeah, but, uh, I think I'm a, I think I'm a, like that, I kind of like that. Yeah, I won't cut him off too much, but I think I'm eventually going to go and, and cut him off. Period. In the long run, when I go back and review this, but for now, second image. Let's go ahead and add this chick. It's probably the same chick. Okay, what's going on? Is she supposed to be that far right? She is. Okay. That's another one I might have to look at because, you know, her arm isn't cut off, so I might just bring her in like that. Yeah, I don't know. Depends. Let's just go ahead and add the images. As you can see, my creative mind is working. and I'm already thinking about editing and stuff already. Now, this is a great shot. She's right in the middle. That looks great. All right. Next shot. Boom. She's like, yeah, dude, I'm so high right now. Yeah, I'm gonna take off. I'm so awesome in this cool jacket with the tiger on the bottom, my green little shorts. I am so there, dude. And we're gonna add this chick. I love the styling in this, this editorial. This, I mean, whoever styled this did a great job. I mean, all this looks look very very fashionable I mean some of these look like Gucci I mean this does look like Gucci I'm gonna have to take a look at the credits this also looks like Gucci also and this one all right 
Let me click on this and let's add this right here. This is probably going to be my cover shot. I love this shot. I love how she has part of her body over in the left and in the right. It's evenly uh, spread out. She has a couple of Jesuses in there and whoever this little dude is. Purse at the bottom. I like that. What else we have? Yeah, take off, dude. So you gotta think about shots like this. Because if this is a magazine, you're opening it. You don't want the person's face to be right in the middle because it's right in the crease of the magazine. You know what I mean? So usually in shots like this, I would probably bring it in over to the right like that. Which is also cool because it, it, it lets you see the header and the footer. I might even bring it in a little bit more like that. And I, I, I don't mind sacrificing all this um, this background over here. You know, to get, you know, you know what? I think I might just bring this down also. And bring this up and put it in the middle. Yeah, that looks great. And I need a white. I'll show you guys how to do all that right here. But now, if you can't see the header and the, and the footer, which I'll probably show you in another tutorial, which I've already done. I'll drop the link. You need to click on the image, go to effects, transparency, and go to overlay. All right. I've already created preset pages at the bottom where um, I have my header and footer in black. I have them in white. I have uh, my beauty header and footer in black, I have it in white, I have just the bottom pages, leaving this up off at the top, which comes in handy when there's an image of a female and her face or something is up at, at the top and I don't want it to be covering the skin, so I'll just put the, the page at the bottom and I have it in white. Alright, so let's go back up. Alright, so we have white, black, I think that looks good, I think I'm going to leave that like that. So I don't want her face in the middle when you're opening the page and it's, her face is right in the crease. It's not a good look. And the last page, we're going to add her, which I should have added at the top because I don't want to split the wardrobe. So I think I'm going to do that. You just add the overlay and we put a white there. And you can tell because yeah, you have it says A, B, C, H, D. You can label these how you want. But you can see B, B. So if you see black or you see white, um, you know how to switch that up. But what I'm gonna do right quick, I'm going to drag her, let me go to this page. It's already double click. And I'm gonna drag her up here. It's a wardrobe's match, All right? And you see, we have this right here. She needs to be here, so we turn the page. Or I could put her before. Yeah, there we go. Wardrobe going into this same jacket. Since so she's already flying, so I'm about to take off. Hold up, I'm about to take off. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm there. And then she switches clothes. This is I love the I love the hair also. Great job to the. Uh, the hairstylist and the wardrobe stylist. I love the hair. It starts off brunette, brunette at the top and then it goes into like a dirty blonde. I can't believe I'm talking like this. I've been doing this too long. Like years ago, man, I was all about music, producing and all that. And then I just gave that up. I was like, you know, this is boring. One thing about me, I, I, I love to learn stuff. And once I learn and master it, like, I'm done like a kid just throw it in the in a little bucket of toys I'm like give me something else new to play with all right all right so we have everything laid out right page 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 all right control D that's how you add images I know we talked about a lot of stuff in this <laughs> tutorial control D or you go up to file and click on place all right now I can click on these images. You know what? I'm gonna just take that color off because I really don't need that. 
uh, I was just using that as a guide um, and also to kind of uh, show you guys that can help you out you know I'll even do that you know um, on fresh on fresh layouts I'll just you know get the rectangle tool and I will add like maybe six or seven pages of red six or seven pages of blue six or seven to kind of give my idea how many images is going into this magazine because if I want to do a magazine that's like 80 or 90 pages and I'm like okay I want to feature at least maybe six people in this I want to do the math and lay everything out before I even start so if someone sends me a, a editorial and they're like 30 images which people do a lot you know because they want you know I'm not knocking that because they want me to pick the best images in the photo shoot which is cool you know I can't put everything in a magazine though because the cost of print is going to be high and I want to keep the pro the cost of print low so everyone can order a magazine and um, not feel like they're paying you know a lot of money at the same time um, have a magazine that that has enough content in it and it's evenly spread out and it looks awesome and that's the key you know I know some magazines they'll put they put 12 or 13 you know editorials in one magazine you know somebody might send you 12 images they only feature four you know and because they have a lot of people sending them images when I first started I might have like four or five people each month maybe six now I have up like 20 25 30 people you know and it's going up every every day I check my email it's like five or six people every single day and uh, this is just our third year so I'm excited I'm happy um, I know it's going to get bigger each year, but at the same time, I want to feature the best. I don't want to just put everything in my magazine. I want to make people go work hard and challenge themselves to produce something that's worthy of being inside Seven Hues. Not only challenge themselves, but to push their, their level of creativity to make them want to take their own art, you know, artistry to the next level. You know, that's, that's the beauty part about being a creative, you know, it's not staying stagnant, not just like, okay, well, I've been shooting like this for years. And, you know, that's why I don't work with a lot of um, individuals when they, you know, uh, makeup artists, stylists, um, hairdressers who will come on set and present you with some work. And then like a year later, their work still looks the same. You got to go. You know, if, if a year later you come on set and your work doesn't look like it's went from A to Z or at least from A to L or M, you know, you don't show any signs of progression. You know, when I'm looking through magazines myself and I'm on behats.com and DeviantArt and uh, Instagram, all these social media networks and I see people's level of art just rising and then I look at you you know, you come on set and your stuff looks like, okay, that's the same stuff you've been bringing to the table since I met you, guy, you know, a gal, you know. All right, so before we get off, I want you guys to go follow my Instagram. It's Will Mydell. That's my personal portfolio page, all right? I post most of my work on there. Um, or you can follow Mr. Mydell. That's my, um, just being myself page. I post all my inspiring pictures on there, which would be luxury, cars uh old cinema i love movies so uh like my last video i did something on um, baruto so i love anime um i'll post most of the stuff on there that inspire me and go follow my uh magazine pages please all right seven hues mag seven hues beauty seven hues owns seven hues mag noir seven hues mag hair seven hues music seven hues culture all right, busy corpse. I'm gonna talk to you guys about busy corpse also later. Uh, another inspir inspirational page. I know you're like, oh, this dude, how many Instagrams you got? I have a couple, I think I got like 10. I have one, I ain't even started working on it yet, but I stay busy, so I don't like to have everything on one page. I like to break all my niches up into different pages. All right, especially my magazine. I like that. I mean, if I'm covering women, I'm covering women. If I'm covering men, I got one for men. If I'm covering hair, I I want one just for hair. Same thing with beauty, all right? I'm gonna post all the pages on here so you guys follow, all right? And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video where I'm gonna show you how to decide which 
cover page you want to work with all right see you guys in the next video thank you for watching please hit the bell subscribe notification stuff like that we'll get some